Hello everyone, I'm Sopan. Today I'm going to present our paper CNN and Deep Sets for End One Whole Star Representation Learning. Here is the outline of my presentation problem definition, method, experiment, and conclusion. So let's start with problem definition. So the problem is that whole slide images are too large and due to this gigantic size we cannot feed them directly to the neural nodes. So the typical step uh, for bypassing uh, this computational and memory bottleneck uh, is splitting the WSI to set off patches. So considering this, the uh, most simplest uh, uh, way uh, to process or do this data or apply machine learning algorithms on this data is to uh, uh, train on patches and treat each patch as an individual data point. But if we do this, we should consider that patch labels are not available and we cannot use the WSI label for patch labels because this label is not valid for all patches in that WSI. Besides training on patches gives us nothing but more than the patch embeddings. So for some uh, uh, downstream tasks, this is not enough. For example, uh, it is not clear how to do WSI classification or WSI search, given uh, having uh, like a set of embeddings per WSI. Also, there are some alternatives, but they are suboptimal. Besides, there is a the hierarchy between labels as each WSI has two labels is a multi-label problem in terms of it has label for its primary site and primary diagnosis. So we are looking for a method that can process data. It means that the method should be permutation invariant and acknowledge also acknowledge the dependency between labels. So our method is based on the deep set architecture, a recently developed method which has been proved that it's a universal approximator of set functions. It is built uh, based on some element-wise nonlinearities. Uh, then uh, a pooling layer, which is a symmetric function, and another nonlinearity. So, core method CNN and deep set has two key components, which is combination of convolutional neural network and deep set architecture. Some reshape layers that create the data pipeline and change uh, data shapes such that we can use CNN and deep set in suitable places. We also propose some custom layers to respect the hierarchy between labels during training. So this first section shows the data preparation. For example, if you consider that the batch is 16 and we have extracted 40 patches per WSI, this is the shape of our data. In the beginning, we use a reshape layer uh, and we treat each patch as an individual data as if uh, like uh, there are just separate data points. So then we can process them using this regular convolutional neural network and obtain one embedding per patch, then we use uh, uh, another reshape layer and retrieve the set nature of data. For example, here if the batch size is 16, it means that we have 16 WSIs and for each WSI we have 40 embeddings. Uh, we fit this to the deep sets like architecture and do the set inference and obtain one embedding per WSI. Then we create our custom layers which has two branches. The upper branch classify the primary side. Uh, and it has 24 outputs for 24 primary sites on TCG dataset. The lower branch has uh, 24 layers itself, and its layer, the number of output in its layer, each layer uh, is um, equal to uh, number of uh, cancer subtypes uh, of that um, uh, associated primary site. So here is the more explanation on this. Uh, for example, here if uh, this output is for brain. So this layer has two outputs because brain has two primary diagnoses and we can calculate the probability of uh, cancer subtypes based on the probability of the uh, uh, primary, diag primary site and uh, conditional primary uh, diagnosis. So this arrow shows that uh, we are using this probability for calculating can uh, probability of cancer subtypes. So this is the typical and um, the general form of uh, our architecture. We use four Tesla V100 GPUs to train it in an end-to-end -end manner. This is because it's like we are training a neural net with batch size of 64 in practice, uh, 614 in practice. So for the experiments, uh, we use TCG dataset for WSI search and WSI classification. For classification, we employ the long data. So for WSI search, we did both horizontal and vertical search. Horizontal search is for 
uh, searching for similar primary site and the whole ver uh, vertical search is searching for similar primary diagnosis. Uh, we compared this, this embeddings of CNN and the deep set against the recently developed search engine called Utixel. So as you can see, we obtained good results for horizontal search and competitive results for vertical search. And uh, still we are uh, having a much less retrieval uh, time ah, compared with Utixel. Uh, here are the two dimensional embeddings uh, based on primary site and primary diagnosis labels. Each point is a WSI here. We also did WSI classification and here is the result. As you can see, our method is achieving competitive result compared with recently developed methods for long data classification. So in conclusion, CNN and deep sets uh, was proposed for whole cell representation learning. It is an end-to-end -end approach, use deep sets and respect the hierarchy between labels and achieve uh, interesting results both in terms of WSI search and classification.